Welcome to the Home Downsizing Show. My name is Ben Socek, your host and the owner and founder of Home Downsizing Solutions. With the Home Downsizing Show, I want to provide you the information and resources to make the downsizing of your house stress and hassle-free. So sit back and enjoy the show. Thank you for joining us. Good morning and welcome to this episode of the Home Downsizing Show. This is Ben Socek and this week would like to continue with another chapter in the Home Downsizing Secrets book. If you haven't uh, received your copy yet or, or went to get your copy yet, uh, just uh, go to homedownsizingsecrets.com or you can call our office at toll free 855 291 5005 and we'd be happy to send that out to you. Uh, this week we will talk about uh, a, a subject that I get asked about uh, very often, which is if a person has been in their house for a long time or even if it's a situation where the adult children are getting involved uh, because they know that a parent or loved one needs to uh, needs to move somewhere. But the big question is, where do I move to? There are uh, a lot of options out there, uh, depending on your specific situation and type of lifestyle that you would like to live. Uh, so depending on what you want to see happen or what needs to happen, will vary a lot with that. Uh, so different types of housing communities, uh, facilities, and options really vary a lot. Knowing that what type of benefits, services, amenities, and type of lifestyle you or your loved one want or need will determine what may be best or the best choice for your specific situation. Are you in good health? and looking to sell the big family home that you've outgrown or that you don't need anymore? Would you like to do more traveling and just not have to worry about taking care of a lawn or shoveling snow where, uh, where that's necessary sometimes? Uh, one of these might be a good option. One, just a smaller house. It, this will still provide you a, a home environment where it's your own space without uh, anyone else bothering you. However, uh, with not as many potential burdens as before, uh, maybe a condo would be the right answer. Here, you still own your own living quarters, plus you will be in a complex if you wish with others in your own age group or similar age group if you desire that type of arrangement. Maybe an apartment would be the best solution. Very similar to a condo, living-wise, but with the exception that you are renting and not owning. In certain situations, moving to an adult child's home is a good option, assuming all parties are in agreement. Getting to share in a child's, as well as a grandchild's life, could be a very, a very good thing for you, as well as your family. A more senior-focused or healthcare-related facility or community, such as an independent living community, assisted living community or nursing facility may be better options depending on if you have any health challenges that would be of a concern. So what are independent living communities? Independent senior living communities could include individual homes or apartments designed to provide healthy, independent and fully mobile older adults an active lifestyle with recreational, social, and educational activities with others of a similar age. Units look like an apartment or small condo and come with kitchens in most cases. Assisted living facilities. Assisted living facilities have a higher degree of supervision than independent living communities, but not as intensive as a nursing home or long-term care community. The housing service may include cooking, bathing, laundry, transportation, or other items on a regular basis. 
Medical services may include helping with medications and some limited nursing help. Residents may or may not be fully mobile, but are still able to get around the facility for the most part. Here as well, units take on the look of an apartment for the most part. Nursing homes and skilled nursing facilities. Skilled nursing homes provide 24-hour nursing care for individuals that need a high level of medical care and medication management. Those staying in a nursing facility may in some cases receive rehab therapy services based on their present medical condition if they qualify. And dining activities are typically provided. Medication is personally dispensed. Residents may be fully or partially mobile or may be restricted to a chair or bed. Residents may have a private room or share a room with another resident, depending on financial or other factors. And rooms are more geared towards a higher degree of care provided. What are continuing care retirement communities? Continuing care retirement communities, or CCRCs, include several different types of housing options for seniors. These can include independent living accommodations with single-family homes and apartments, assisted living facilities, as well as skilled nursing and long-term care facilities all on the same property. Regarding a health care facility, is Medicare, Medicaid, or some other health care payer program part of the picture? If so, this can potentially assist with expenses for either assisted living or nursing home care services. This may also determine which community you or a loved one is able to move into. Some communities or facilities like independent living communities may be strictly private pay and will not take Medicare or Medicaid. If you and or a family member are researching senior communities, then you will want to review with the facilities admissions department in order to determine your eligibility with a government or private pay source. There really is a lot to consider when thinking about what type of senior living option may be the best choice for you or a loved one. Utilizing a senior placement service or agent may help to determine the type of community or facility as well as which specific community or facility would be the best choice based on your own situation. Senior placement services may be a free or paid service. Just know that if they state that they are a free service, they are most likely being paid by the community or facility that they introduce you to if you end up moving to that community or facility. If you'd like help finding a senior placement service or resource, just give my office a call, toll-free 855-291-5005, and we can provide, uh, typically provide one or two or more local senior placement agents or services that would do a great job to assist you or your family in finding the right senior community for your specific situation. And again, if you would like a copy of the Home Downsizing Secrets book, just go to homedownsizingsecrets.com or give my office a call, 855-291-5005. And one other item that I'd like to mention on this week's podcast is a service that we're considering op- offering, which is if a person would like to stay in their house and uh, what would be the term age in place, but you would like to get your equity out and be able to use that in some way, we are considering being able to buy your property and allow you to stay in the house and uh, rent the property just as you would a uh, independent living community or other arrangement like that. So if an arrangement like that is of interest to you or you have questions, and of course, if you have questions about just selling a house and moving to a uh, senior living arrangement, just give my office a call, toll-free 855-291-5005, and we would like to assist you in any way that we can. 
Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Home Downsizing Show. For additional information and resources on home downsizing, just go to homedownsizingblueprint.com. That's homedownsizingblueprint.com. Or if you're ready to sell your house and downsize, just go to homedownsizingsolutions.com. That's homedownsizingsolutions.com. And if you have ideas to improve our show or topics that you'd like us to cover, or have any questions that we can answer, just call our office toll free 855-291-5005. That's 855-291-5005. Thank you.